Hello there. This is a quick tutorial on how to use a page in Modo as a display information resource. Although it is very easy to upload your course materials, such as word processed documents to Modo, it is sometimes better to add them directly into Modo. For instance, a page or a book. This is better for your learners too, because it means they don't need to have the same software programs that you are using. They don't need to download anything. They can read it straight on Modo. To do this, we go to the course, enable editing mode, top right, click add an activity or resource. This brings up activity chooser, there are two resources which are helpful to us here, the page and the book. The book resource allows us to add a series of pages into which we can type the basic information we want to display. The other resource is a page. In this video, we'll choose a page. Click once to go straight to the setup screen. This is the setup screen. Or click I, the information icon, for more details. You read more about the resource page. And then the add button, bottom right. It also brings us to the setup page. Name is where we type the title the learners will see on the course page. For example, introduction to structured programming. Then the description. If we wish to show it on the page, you can check the display description on the course box. We scroll down and it is in the page content box where we type or add our page information. We use the features up here on the toolbar to edit our work. If you have only simple text to add to your course, this is much quicker and better than typing it into a word processing program and uploading it. And you can also add images by clicking on the image icon. So you browse the repositories, you come to upload the file, choose file, and you find the file that you would you want to attach. So you upload this file. You can describe the image. And if the image is decorative only, you check this box and then save. So it will appear here. You can add a video. You can say, I want it under a classification of programming languages. So it will come here. We come to the video icon, record video. Then you start recording, stop recording, attach recording. So our video comes straight here. We can add sound files into the page as well. You click on Record the audio icon, start recording, you end the recording and attach recording. It comes straight here. There are various other settings you might like to explore in your own time. For instance, appearance. Do we want to show when the page was last modified or not? You check, choose one of these options. 
Activity completion. If we want to track that students have accessed the page, we choose these options. Do you want them to manually click to confirm they have read it? Or do you want it automatically marked complete when they view the page? To alert course participants that a page has been added or updated, click Send Content Change Notification Box. And then, if you click Save and Return to Course, which any learner or any device with any software can open and access. And note, that you can quickly update the page by clicking its name and then clicking settings. Come to the settings icon. You choose edit settings. Then you can come back here and make changes. You can decide to remove the video. So you have updated your page you can send content change notification by checking the box and then save and return to course.